This is a minimally invasive procedure involving no surgical incision. By skillfully targeting green light lasers at enlarged prostate tissue, surgeons practiced in this technique have effectively revolutionized treatment for an enlarged prostate or benign prostatic hyperplasia. The green light laser technique uses high-powered energy beams delivered through a thin laser fiber which safely and precisely vaporizes surplus tissue at the enlarged prostate which has blocked the normal flow of urine. The high pulse laser removes tissue causing the blockage and coagulates blood vessels minimizing bleeding. Green light laser surgery is a procedure used to open up the inside of the prostate with the aim of making it easier for patients to pass urine. The reason it's a green light laser it's because the uh, in, on the technical basis it's the wavelength is of a certain uh, type which means it's absorbed by uh, red things in particular such as blood so that you get a lot less bleeding as you do the procedure. The reason you use a laser is because it provides very high power to vaporize tissue. In other words, to remove the tissue without leaving bits of dead tissue behind, just to vaporize it. Alan Doherty is one of the first surgeons in the country to use the third generation XPS machine. This £100,000 machine is more powerful than its two predecessors. It allows the treatment of men with large prostates, reducing operating time by half. Prostate patient Michael Priest was suffering the uncomfortable and at times painful effects of what was described as a record-breaking in large prostate. Well, before I had the green light laser treatment, um, it was a case of planning every trip. <laughs> if I went to the supermarket, I had to go to the toilet before I went out. Um, and I had to make sure I knew where the toilets were when I got there, even though it might have only been five minutes, ten minutes. Um, and everywhere I went, I had to pre-plan and make sure I knew where toilets were. If there was a trip away anywhere, I needed to know how far it was to the next service station to call in there. It was quite uh, distressing, really, because it caused fraction uh, between my wife and myself, uh, with the breaking of sleep in, in the nights so often, and uh, caused tiredness uh, between all of us, and uh, it, it was becoming a problem. But since the operation, the green light laser, uh, I don't have that problem at all. Uh, I'm in full control, and I don't have to get up in the night at all, so. It's been a blessing in, in real terms, and uh, I'm living a normal life again. I can uh, go many hours without going to the toilet. So it's been a real lifesaver as far as that's concerned. Transformed my life uh, so much that uh, it's, it's become a pleasure again. I first used it about six years ago. Uh, and I was incredibly excited about the fact that I could do the same operation, in other words, open up the prostate to the same degree, but with much less blood loss, with a much quicker recovery time, with much smaller instruments, so much less traumatic to the water pipe, the urethra, uh, and using smaller catheters, uh, and basically with uh, less risk of what's called urethral strictures. So uh, this was um, improving on, on an already pretty good technique, but making surgery more reliable and a lot safer. So we, we suddenly had this uh, procedure that could deliver reliable and effective treatment safely. One in three men over the age of 50 develop an enlarged prostate. Previously, the only option, if medication isn't effective, was the TURP procedure. Mr Doherty has been using the green light laser technique for over six years. It avoids the side effects associated with the TURP procedure. Inpatient time is much shorter too. Green light laser surgery usually takes between an hour and an hour and a half. 
catheters are removed within hours of the procedure, and men are typically back home in 24 hours. For thousands who are experiencing the discomfort and inconvenience of an enlarged prostate, Greenlight Laser Surgery offers a less invasive treatment. The advantages over TURP are clear from patient experience. I've had relatives that have had the operations and they've been in pain for several weeks afterwards um, as they recover. But as far as I was concerned, they didn't have any of that. I would recommend green light laser to anyone that has a similar problem. There's no scars, uh, there's no need for treatment afterwards, um, and there's no uh, possibility of infection. Green light laser should be used more widely. Basically, all patients are eligible for this procedure. It's not just the small prostates, even the big prostates. I can treat all patients who need surgery because they've got a blockage secondary to prostatic enlargement. So whether it's a 30 gram prostate or a 150 gram prostate, I would still offer the green light laser surgery to these patients. The new high powered XPS machine is just offering me uh, a greater range of treatment options to the patient and I obviously will choose the one that's most effective and safest. The latest machine I think is a, is a big advance because it just does it better and more reliably than the, the earlier versions.